My name is Mrs. Jagger. The book I'm going to tell you about today is Lou by Jason Reynolds. Here's what the book says about itself. Lou was born to be co-captain of the Defenders. Well, actually, he was born albino, but that's got nothing to do with being a track star. Lou has swagger, plus the talent to back it up, and with all that, not to mention the gold chains and diamond earrings, no one's going to outshine him. Lou knows he can lead Ghost, Patina, Sunny, and the rest of the team to victory at the championships, but it might not be as easy as it seems. Suddenly, there are hurdles in Lou's way, literally and not so literally, and Lou needs to figure out fast what winning the gold really means. This book is about how Lou deals with bullies and keeps himself feeling confident. I'm going to read a passage from page 141 for you today. How could you take his medal and not give it back to him? It's an Olympic medal. There's no way you don't know how important that is to him. That's like, I don't know, maybe the most important thing ever for somebody like Coach. For somebody like me. I know, but, but what? What could you possibly have to say? What could be the reason? I wanted to be him, Lou, he yelled back, then took a step back. I couldn't see his face. I didn't want to see it. Glad I couldn't see it. But I could see his arms lifting, probably doing the thing he always did when he was trying to explain something, rubbing his palms together as if he was washing them. But wasn't no washing this off. I wanted to be him, not be him, but be like him. Dad calmed his voice a little. He teased me, and he was better than me, a better runner, a better everything. That's why I wanted you on his team, because he's the best. But I thought you said y'all were kids, and you ain't take it personal. I don't, now, but I did back then. I mean, you don't understand. My mother basically took care of him, and then around other people, he'd just trash me, say stuff like, you sound like a broken record playing a song that sounds like a scratch CD. You sound like a choking chihuahua. You sound like you need an oil change. You sound like a break beat over broken speakers. Make me want a pop lock on a cardboard box. You sound like a car radio on scan. You sound like a Michael Jackson ad lib, not the he he or the shaman. The other one. You sound like you're always about to sneeze but don't. You sound like Donald Duck imitating Daffy Duck trying to imitate Donald Duck. You sound like all these things, but you look like a goose. Yeah, you look like a goose. My father's voice was jittery, but not in the way that made me think he was about to cry. It wasn't like that, but I could tell he was feeling it. it made me know it was still stinging. I picked this passage because it shows a bit about how Lou stands up for his coach and the bullying that even his father dealt with. I think people who believe in standing up and supporting people should read this book because Lou demonstrates the way you can be there for uh, and support others. It's the final book in the track series, but you don't have to read them in any particular order. Thank you.